<laughs> Praise the Lord. Brother Hype Man here, Nerd for the Word, a.k.a. Brother Lil Julia, formerly known as the Wretched Knucklehead, my brothers and sisters. If we turn our Bibles to Romans chapter 12, we're we'll looking at verse 2, and it reads, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Man, the Lord had a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admonition, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. Of our brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we see in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, and this is a chapter where the Apostle Paul, he contrasts himself from false gospel preachers who don't preach no grace and don't believe no grace. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 is a chapter uh, 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 by, by the Apostle Paul, a gospel grace believer, a gospel grace preacher. In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, he makes a clear distinction of uh, 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 how he's not a false gospel preacher who don't preach no grace and who don't believe in no grace. And he uses the term transforming transforming three times where he says when it comes to false gospel preachers who don't preach no grace who don't believe in no grace he says that that these these false gospel preachers who don't preach no grace who don't believe in no grace they're deceitful workers and they transform themselves to to gospel grace preachers and goes on to say, and, and the kingdom of darkness. Don't don't be surprised that the kingdom of darkness himself, he 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 transforms himself into a, 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 an, an angel of light. And and and, and 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 goes on to say that these the, the false gospel preachers who don't preach no grace, who don't believe in no grace, they uh, are, are transforming themselves into gospel grace preachers and the way that these false gospel preachers who don't preach no grace who don't believe no grace transform themselves they lie they manipulate they 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 they, they, they do all these outward things uh, 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 um, uh, to make themselves look the, the part but they ain't the part and so, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, where the Apostle Paul, gospel grace preacher, a gospel grace believer, he's, he's, he's making a, a stark contrast from false gospel preachers who don't preach no grace and don't believe no grace. And the Apostle Paul ain't no false gospel preacher who don't preach no grace and don't believe in no grace. But remember, my brothers and sisters, so much more in 2024, the truth, simple, Every day, everything example, where we see in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 12, where the Apostle Paul, a true gospel grace preacher, mentions that this is the time of our rejoicing. This is the testimony of our conscience with simplicity and godly sincerity, not with fleshy wisdom, but the grace of God. And we receive his testimonies, his conversation from grace to grace, mercy, mercy. So we see the, the three times the Apostle Paul used the term transform. It, it, it's talking about these false gospel preachers who don't preach no grace, who don't believe in no grace, and they, 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 they do it outwardly. And they do it with, 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 with false preaching of false gospel messages that got no grace, which is, which is nothing but lies, duplicity, uh, double talk, ambiguity, uh, 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 ambivalence, uh, confusion, nonsense. But then we see the Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, he says to the believer of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is reading that, he says, don't be conformed to this fallen world, 
but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. And this transformation is a is a is a supernatural, is a spiritual, is a cognitive, is an emotional. It, it, it's a it's a mental. It's a psychological. It is a a a, a heaven ordained, a godly tr inside inward transformation in a believer. Where, 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 when a believer hears the, the, uh, the, the, the gospel of grace, uh, the Bible says in Romans chapter uh, 10, verse 17, faith comes by hearing, and faith is, is a, 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 a good opinion of God. But when you're hearing the gospel of grace, when you're hearing and, 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 and that faith, and you have a good opinion of God, and it comes by hearing, and hearing the word of God, the word of the gospel of grace, uh, there's an inward transformation that you're having a good opinion of God. Uh, and then he goes on to say in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, when, 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 you, when, you're, when, 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 when you're being tra tra inwardly transformed by the renewing of your mind, the, the renewing of your mind to the things of God, who you are in God, what you have in God, how much God agape loves you, how much God has forgiven you of all your sins, past, present, and future, how much God wants to give you life and life more abundantly, and your mind is being renewed, and your mind, and you're being inwardly transformed to the image of, 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 of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, which is what? And, and, and it lines up with that good, acceptable, perfect will of God. And the perfect will of God is the gospel of God's grace. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his counsel to you. May the Lord give you peace. And I commend you all to God and in the word of his grace, which is able to build you up inheritance to those who sanctify. In the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. And after him that is able, keep you from all and present you faultless in the presence of his glory. Both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise our Lord, amen. <laughs> 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 when you renew your mind, you are in a position where you could praise the Lord. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> A God I love. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Renew your mind in Jesus' name. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> A God I love. <laughs>